here. So what's on the menu today is anti-candida drink. And um, what's in it? Fresh lemon juice and then slick essence which helps uh, keep the blood sugar down and supposed to keep your mind from eating sweets. So if you drink this before you eat the chocolates it works. Otherwise it's kind of late and um, I did eat the chocolate. So what else did I add to that drink was lemon, grapefruit and one drop of peppermint. Now why are we talking about candida? Candida is a beast. <laughs> uh, nothing funny about it. Uh, many years ago I um, had it. Actually I had it since I um, was about one week old and I had pneumonia um, which I'm sure at the time was controlled by antibiotics. Um, so antibiotics as you know kill the internal flora, you know, the friendly bacteria and uh, for many many years, I'm pretty old now, um, I um, had the um, candida without even suspecting it. My dentist would tell me that I had a geographic tongue and uh, made me proud of it, sort of like, you know, you have a whole map of the world on your tongue. But what actually was happening in reality was that candida was eating me alive. It went into my eyes, into my hair. Um, I don't know where else it went in because when I was a kid and for many years afterwards I ate this baby, raw garlic. But lately, I don't know why, but I haven't been eating this as much. So. Um, Candida got out of control and um, I did the test a few years ago, I um, don't remember how many years ago, but it's a saliva test. Basically, um, this is the best test I would recommend where you, in the morning, you take a container with water, clean water, and you spit in it. One minute later, you'll see if you have a candida because if you do, you'll see uh, small tentacles going in different directions and they grow longer and longer and they're very thin. So this is how candida works. It comes from inside your stomach and through the tissues of your body, through the cells, it just penetrates and goes anywhere. It can go into your hair, into your eyes and believe it or not, my eyes are blue. There is a little bit of blue left but most of it is candida um, still. And I don't know if it's possible to get it out and when and how, but um, I'm trying to keep it under control. Basically, my tongue is um, not white anymore, if you like to see. <laughs> um, and uh, what do I do to keep it that way? Um, primarily, what works really good is the um, tea tree oil, which I take under the tongue, sometimes on the tongue. Um, actually, before I go to sleep, I put it um, on my teeth and then I just wait for some saliva to come out and um, swish it around and uh, this way I make sure I don't have any germs in my mouth or candida. So it seems to work pretty well. The other thing that's very good is Akatea and Akatea is part of these sleek essence that I told you about that I put in my drink. And um, Akatea keeps the blood sugar down. Sleek Essence also has other oils that help your digestion, like spearmint. So that's a great thing. And it tastes pretty good. So now, uh, what does Candida like to eat? Is cheese, sweets, and uh, starches. So don't think that it's you who likes to eat candies. It's uh, your friend Candida. So when it's craving those things, you go to the refrigerator or wherever in cupboard and you eat the junk. So next time remember it's not you. So maybe you'll feel better and you will not take that. You will not feed that beast. So now uh, to cleanse your body from candida, this will help uh, your kidneys which is juniper. Now, the um, great oil for candida is purification 
because it does have tea tree and lemongrass in it and lemongrass helps uh, cleanse the uh, lymph um, now endoflex is very good for endocrine system uh, the duoflex is very good for cleansing the um, um, your liver and it also detoxes from heavy metals which is great now lemongrass I already told you about that it cleanses your lymph and also DJI's is a very good oil because it helps your digestion so when you don't have much garbage left in your stomach um, it's it's very good you're clean and then candida doesn't have much to eat I should have mentioned also the thieves oil which is a great blend and smells really good because uh, for me I love the smell of clove and it's a very powerful 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 oil it's just the reason why I stopped taking it as much because it's it's a hot oil so um, it tastes though better than um, tea tree so if you like if you make your tea and wait for it to cool off a little bit so um, you don't evaporate the oil you could put a drop of thieves and actually it tastes pretty delicious now um, for stress control or to stop yourself from eating garbage uh, what you could do is you could just smell something that smells pleasant to you for example they have a blend the young living has a blend that's called joy and smells really nice um, for me I don't know your tastes you know they have so many oils you could choose from it's a sweet smell so if you like that it works real well for some people peppermint really works well because it helps their concentration and also uh, the um, their mood gets improved they, it calms you down and it wakes you up at the same time so when you smell that you might decide oh, maybe I don't want to eat that garbage or maybe I don't I'm not even hungry why eat the other oil that I like a lot is Lane Lane and um, ever since I smelled it I just go crazy about it um, that's my favorite but then if nothing works you can knock yourself down with valerian <laughs> whatever works to your health and I wanted to remind you that there is a song that's called Candida it goes like this Candida Candida la 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 ba 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 and the words are um, will stay with me forever or something like that together so it will it will stay in your stomach but if you control it it won't cause you any problems and um, not to scare you but something in the past that happened to my family in my family I lost my cousin to cancer but actually he told me that it was not cancer it was candida or I don't know if it was candida or another fungus candida is a fungus that eventually killed him because he went for the um, um, the actual treatment you know by doctors where he took um, he undertook surgery surgery after surgery I was completely against it but of course he didn't listen and um, he died and before he died he told me that it was not cancer that he was dying from it was the fungus that doctors couldn't do anything about so that's too bad even though he helped others um, get better just by uh, meditation and uh, I guess hypnosis for himself he was a dentist so he went that route and uh, he lost and uh, I know some other examples of uh, my nutritionist um, knees died also of fungus and basically the same story doctors used um, she was I don't know how old pretty young kid but doctors used different medications to the point where they destroyed her immune system and once that happens nothing helps and um, I would say the same thing happened to my mom because holy doctors help quote unquote to the point and when they're done and basically they're done destroying your body 
or it's not them, it's you who allow this to happen or you think that they are, um, they should be taking care of your life and you just trust them with your life. Not a good idea. Well, of course, it's up to you, but I just say improve your immune system and fight back and um, those essential oils are very very powerful and um, if you don't want to take essential oils you could do other things like um, but they don't work as well the only thing is I would say what I like a lot is uh, cayenne pepper and um, aloe extremely powerful garlic is good and then the other thing is that um, the bee pollen, bee propolis is extremely powerful. Now I wanted to mention that you could put oils in capsules if you don't like to taste, let's say, tea tree. And you would put like maybe, depending on your age, uh, for little children, I would start with extremely small amount of oils. It, especially, I mean, if they are like under one year of age, I would just dilute even one drop with so much of water or oil. Uh, depending on what it is you're doing, um, oil is actually what um, dilutes the um, like um, the um, olive oil or V6. That's the oil that dilutes vegetable oils that dilute the uh, essential oil. Water does not dilute the uh, essential oil, so keep that in mind. And now, just last, uh, I just wanted to mention that. Um, Always use therapeutic grade essential oils for internal use. The other oils that are not therapeutic grade could be actually harmful because they are not whole. So you could be missing some chemical component and that makes such a huge difference. So please be careful. Um, I had bad experience in the past and um, warning you to your health. Mm.